You are watching EAC News. Thanks for joining us. An animal shelter in the Gaza Strip is using the wheels of toy cars and kids' bicycles to build mobility vehicles for disabled cats and dogs, helping them to walk, run and play again. Workers at the Palestinian enclave Sulala Animal Rescue Society are working to fit some 32 cats and dogs with a makeshift wheelchairs or with artificial limbs made from recycled wood and metal. There were many cases after the war that were brought to our shelter, either paralyzed or amputated. We also lost some pets during the war. We wanted to be a center for artificial limbs for animals in Gaza, including all the things we do here in the center for the animals to have a good life. One of the dogs, Lucy, whose hind legs were paralyzed in a car accident, was given a wheelchair built using the rainbow-colored rubber wheels of a discarded children's bike. With the assistance of volunteers, Lucy slips her upper body through a harness, connecting a metal frame to the wheels. Her back legs sit comfortably above the back of the frame, and off she goes. Ismail created a similar apparatus for cats using the small wheels of a toy race car. The animal shelter in Gaza City has received donations from charities in Australia and Britain. There are no specialized medical centers for animals in Gaza, which is run by the militant group of Hamas and is held under an Israeli-led blockade. After the war, we received many cats of amputated and paralyzed pet. But unfortunately, we couldn't have because there are no center for making artificial lip for cat and dog in Gaza. While it does have two prosthesis centers, they are busy providing artificial limbs to some 1,600 amputees in the street, including many who were shot during border clashes with Israeli troops. But Shihad has added that centers do not offer services to animals, making the shelter's initiative all the more important. <laughs> 